Hello everyone, I'm Nam Jin Kim, an engineer manager in the SmartThings team at Samsung. Specifically focused on improving the connection experience per user. Have you ever experienced a situation where your smart home device got disconnected, leaving you unable to control it? <laughs> yeah, raise your hand. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a frustrating, right? Yeah, if so, you will be happy to hear that we are making it for you to fix such issue. Today, I'll show you how we are improving the SmartThings connectivity experience. Offline diagnostic, or picture that automatically diagnose and resolve each and a de device goes offline. This ensures that connectivity problems are swiftly identified and addressed. Com connection care, a function that Ensure device can automatically reconnect before going offline. Helping user to maintain smooth op operation without any manual intervention. Metal offline diagnostic, uh, which I'll explain the offline diagnostic capability of a device that comply with metal standard and the architecture behind it. And lastly, Com connection care metal. I'll introduce the effort we are making toward standardizing metal to provide a better user experience across our ecosystem. Let's start with a brief overview of SmartThings. SmartThings is an IoT platform used by over 300 million people in more than 200 100 countries, which a variety of service and programmable automation. Smart things make users' lives better, and platform is growing every day. Smart things is driving innovation in many areas of daily life. Simply by allowing users to connect and control their smart device in one place. We are continuously evolving with new functionality that make a user's home life safer, more comfortable, and energy efficient. As a new smart device come to market, we continue to improve our ability to support, integrate this device, and open more advanced and personalized service with AI technology. However, there are some scenarios that may impact a user experience. For example, when a user moves or changing their internet service provider, the Wi-Fi router information may change. This requires users to manually restore the, their connection using the offline diagnostic tool. Device can go offline due to external factors such as the user's network environment, location, and the equipment they use. For example, moving to a new house, changing internet service provider, or changing the Wi-Fi password can impact device connectivity. Device may go offline due to issue the device themselves. Some common problems include permit update, battery depletion, or other internal issues that may cause the device to lose connection. Issue with the router configuration, network congestion, or problem with the internet service provider can also cause device to go offline. This network-related issue can be more complex to diagnose and fix. Let's talk more about offline diagnostic. 
we launched the offline diagnostic to give users seamless connectivity experience. This tool lets users easily diagnose and resolve any connectivity issue on their own. It consists of two modes, general diagnostic and detailed diagnostic. It, in the general mode, the tool performs environment and platform check before suggesting solution to potential issue. For products supporting detailed mobile connections, the detailed mode offers additional assessments and presents one-click solution to restore these connections. By empowering users to effortlessly handle connectivity problem independently, we ensure a smooth and convenient, convenient experience. Through analysis of years of data, we have determined the main reason why device ready on smart things platform go offline. This includes user environment factors and device issue and platform with router or network. To help with this scenario, the offline diagnostic feature designed to automatically solve connectivity issue by update device with Wi-Fi information. For example, if you move and need to set up a new network, changing your ISP, replace your router, or changing your Wi-Fi password, smart things can detect this changing and reconnect your device to the new network automatically. This way, users can keep their device working without the hassle of manual reconfiguration. Offline diagnostic is important to, for improving the stability of device connection and enhancing user convenience. It allows users to quickly and easily solve connectivity issues without complex troubleshooting. Since the release of the offline diagnostic tool, we have dedicated analyzing customer feedback and diagnostic patterns. This, the initial offline diagnostic required users to manually execute the tool, identify the issue, and perform the recovery, which was difficult. To solve this problem, SmartThings have developed a new feature called Calm Connection Care. Calm Connection Care provides automatic connection care before user experience any issue. A helper device in the home can automatically detect offline device and restore their connection without any user intervention. This means no longer need to go through complex diagnostic process to keep their device working. This feature also automatically restores connection for nearby appliance using only the TV's Wi-Fi network connection. When a smart thing latches the TV connected to Wi-Fi, it can automatically scan for surrounding appliance, diagnose their connection status, and restore any offline device. This allows users to keep their appliance connected without any manual intervention. On the other hand, there may be times when the helper device cannot automatically fix the problem. In this case, the system guides the user to restore offline device themselves. To make this easier, 
smart disk offer the graceful reminder feature. This feature provides clear and friendly instruction to help users quickly and easily destroy their device. Users can simply click the one-click recovery button in the power their device effortlessly. Calm Connection Care is an important innovation that provides users with a smoother and more convenient IoT experience. Through this feature, users can enjoy continuous connectivity and a reliable smart home environment. Next, Let's take a closer look at offline diagnostic. This is the offline diagnostic statistic of users who have GP and Mero device together. First, users who have diagnosed a GP device at least once typically own a, an average of 13 GP device. However, on average, four of these GP devices are offline, indicating a fairly significant connectivity issue within the GP ecosystem. Now, looking at metal device, this user also on average of two metal devices. Of this, only 1.2 devices are usually offline which suggests that metal devices tend to experience pure connection problem compared to GP. However, it is important to note that metal devices, while showing better reliability, are not completely immune to the connection issue. There are still cases where metal devices can go offline, although the rate lower than with GP. Better provide a common standard that allows different brands and devices to work together seamlessly. This standardization ensures a consistent experience for users and enables different devices to com communicate without issue. Metal offline diagnostic built on this standard, expanding the capability of Smart things offline diagnostic and calm connection care. By doing this, we can provide more integrated diagnostic and recovery solution. The metal offline diagnostic architecture allows various IoT devices to work together while performing diagnostic function even when offline. The Smart Things Hub collects from metal devices and performs remote diagnostic and recovery command. It acts as the center of the communication and control, ensuring all connected devices can be monitored and managed effectively. Smart Things participates in standardization activities to apply features like Calm connection care to metal device, ensuring smooth and reliable connectivity. I'll walk through uh, three scenarios where metal device can go offline and propose changing to the standard to enable diagnosis and recovery. The first scenario is a device Wi Fi connection failure. Due to a Wi-Fi access point change, this can happen when users are changing their Wi-Fi network or install a new network router. The second is a, a device Wi-Fi connection failure. Due to a device software issue, this can occur during firmware or software updates when problem arises causing the device to lose its Wi-Fi connection. 
The third scenario is a metal calibration failure due to the device software issue. This problem can occur when the device encounters software issue while communicating with other devices within the metal network. Currently, the metal specification does not provide diagnostic and recovery method for this issue. Therefore, we are proposed to modify the metal standard to address and recover from these three cases. By implementing this change to the standard, metal can provide a better user experience and the further enhancing compatibility between the smart home device. I hope you found this presentation helpful in understanding how we are improving the smart things connectivity and working with the metal standard to provide a better user experience. We are collaborating with various companies to standard this technology in the next release of the matter. If you are interested in collaborating with us, integrating into our ecosystem, please contact us or learn more at developsmart.com. Yeah, thank you. Have a great time, SDC.